In this video, I'm going to talk about burnout and still doing what you love, making money, yet not completely wiping yourself out, depleting yourself. Sit tight. Welcome back to another video. My name is Jen. I help people reinvent their reality. Let me start off by saying that if you enjoy the content here, make sure you give me a thumbs up or hit that subscribe button below. I put out videos every single weekday for you. So we're going to talk about burnout today. Burnout, total depletion of your energy stores. Now, a lot of people, you know, they do this through work, right? They're trying to do what you love. How do you do what you love without totally depleting your, your energetic stores, okay? Without depleting your system. For a lot of people, it's, it's difficult, especially somebody if they're trying to align with their purpose, do what they love. A lot of people, it, it, it's like this entrepreneurial ship, okay? They're creating their own business or something. It gives them the freedom to do that, yet with that comes the headache of always doing, 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 doing. How do you balance that? So that's what I'm going to talk about today, give you a few tips on how to do that. So the first thing, strategy, is to bend time. Bend time. And you might be thinking, well, what? Like how? <laughs> get out. The first thing is to get out of the mindset, of the man-made mindset of linear time, okay? Now this may sound weird to you, but you can actually bend time to your liking by slowing down a little bit. You're like, what? <laughs> slowing down a little bit, okay? What you wanna do is get out of that linear style of thinking, of always doing that you need to be completing tasks and blah, 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 and get more in tune to yourself, get more in the flow. You ever heard of being in the flow, right? Have you ever been in the flow? You know what that feels like. You feel like you can accomplish anything. Time either goes really fast or goes really, you feel like you have a lot of time to just accomplish everything, right? To do everything. But it's not necessarily about doing, it's about being, okay? So being present with yourself, that means slowing down a lot of times. It means taking a breath. It means appreciating the space between doing, space between actions, the space between words, all right? And giving yourself that space instead of always being in this <gasps> mode, okay? That bends time, it puts you in the flow, puts you in the present moment. So it's about tapping into that creative heart-centered place over just what your mind wants to do. Okay, because the more you're coming from a place of creativity, the more you're coming from a place of heart-mind coordination, the more you're going to be able to get done. It doesn't feel like work. It doesn't feel hard. It doesn't feel like you are limited. You feel like you can do it all because you're coming from that, from that grounded place within you. So really important. The second tip is to be clear on your goals. See, a lot of us our number one, we're, we're scared of burning out because we've felt it before. We've had that before. So now we're trying to protect ourselves from, from being burnt out, okay? But a lot of times our energy is scattered because we don't have, we don't know what we want. We're a society, we do not know what we want. Oftentimes we want what other people want or we want just stuff when really it's not the stuff that is fulfilling our needs. It's what that stuff brings us, the emotion behind it. So be clear, what do you want? Sometimes it's better to take a couple steps back before just doing, 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 because if you're just doing, but you don't really, you don't have any clear goals for yourself. All right, you know, it's like, uh, what's a goal? I want money. Okay, well, how much money do you want per month? Okay, that is an example of something you know, breaking it down, something more specific. Or, I want to be happy. Okay, what does happiness mean to you? That is the emotion. So take the, the emotion and put it into some sort of measurable goal or substance for yourself, okay? Because otherwise you may be scattered. It's too vague a lot of times. So have a goal. Number three is to listen to your body. Listen to your body. And we don't do this enough. We do not listen to our bodies. We listen to our minds. So, 
this is the thing. It is much easier to keep your energy stored. It's much easier to listen to when your body is first giving you a hint and addressing you know, a, a small signal than waiting until you're completely at 0% when your battery life is at zero and then trying to get back energy, okay? It's like, it's like disease, right? It's easier to prevent disease than wait until disease is already occurring in our body to fight it, okay? It's about maintaining health, not waiting until we're, we're like croaking on the floor and then being like, oh, now I need to take care of myself. No, right? So listen to what your body is telling you, okay? Are you having physical, physical symptoms, okay? Or is it coming out of fear, okay? So fear a lot of times is going to feel like anxiety and, and stuff like that. But if you're having physical symptoms, you might feel brain fog. You might feel creatively blocked for long periods of time. You might feel completely wiped, fatigued, like you can't do anything, lack of motivation. Not necessarily laziness, lack of motivation, like you just can't, you can't push through because your body is not allowing you to. Why? Because your battery life is at like 5%. It's got that blinking red light on it, right? It's got that blinking red light. And when that light is blinking, you can't force yourself through anything. Maybe when you were younger, you could force yourself through it, but understand that over the long haul, that's gonna wipe you out more, okay? And when you're at zero, then what do you do? Then what do you do? You don't even have 1% to pick yourself back up, okay? So it's easier to listen to your body. If you're having physical symptoms of little things, nudges that your body's telling you like, okay, I'm, I'm catching a cold, I'm feeling, getting headaches more often, okay? I have tension, I have brain fog, I can't think straight. These are little clues that you should address now and then do, you know, rest, recharge, and then go back to what you were doing. But don't fight through it because that is your body telling you you need to address it now before it gets worse, okay? So that is important. Listen to your body, honor your body, honor your body. And the other thing is to not save it all up for like a vacation or save it all up for the weekend. A lot of people do this. They go, 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 go. And they're like, oh, I'm taking a vacation next month. I just have to force my way, force my way through. It's much easier to, you know, take little spurts of rest and recharge and breaks on a consistent basis, a daily basis, rather than saving it all up for a vacation where you can't even enjoy because you're so wiped out that, or you can't think straight and you're just, or you're sick and you can't even go, you're ill, right? Okay, so think of it that way as well. And the last thing is to replenish your chi in the first place, replenish your energy in the first place, boost yourself up, okay? And you do this mostly through two things, food and breathing. Now food, I don't mean, you know, yeah, you want to eat a healthy diet, but I mean enjoying your food, enjoying your food, listening to when your body is craving, uh, a, has a physiological craving versus just an emotional craving, like comfort food, okay? There is a difference. So your body might be craving nutrients or something, or you might say, well, no, I'm craving like a cookie or something, but that could be from an emotional thing. Now, here's the thing. When you're eating the food, it should excite you. It should actually give you extra energy, not take it away, okay? So when you're eating that food, ask yourself, is it giving you joy, excitement, energy, or is it making you feel worse about yourself? Is it taking something away? Is it just filling a void of some sort or Am I here already? And it's boosting me up. It's giving me that extra energy that I need. I'm not about deprivation at all. I'm sorry. I'm not about deprivation. I've been there. I've done it. It doesn't work in the long term. Okay. Not only that, but it depletes your chi. It depletes your energy. So if you really are craving something, eat it in moderation, but make sure you enjoy the hell out of it. Make sure you are present with that cookie, with that piece of food, and 
you, it excites you, it gives you energy, it gives you energy, okay? It's not just the, the nutrients in the food because, you know, a cookie is, has a lot of processed ingredients to begin with, but you are getting the energy, you're getting the chi from the way it's making you feel, from that excitement, from that joy, from that, wow, this is the best thing I've, I've tasted all day, okay? So that's the first thing. Don't deprive yourself. Everything in moderation. But it's not just about the nutrients, it's about what it's giving you, the, the energy it's giving you, that life force it's giving you because you feel joy, you feel bliss when eating it, okay? And the second thing is breathing, breathing. So we take what, like 20,000 breaths per day or something, something like that. So if we're constantly breathing, like shallow breathing, it's going to be hard. We're not going to be generating any kind of energy, chi within us. So to boost that, we want to make sure that we're taking deep breaths, okay? From the belly to the chest. So what I would suggest, maybe four to five times a day, take 10 breaths where you're taking a nice deep breath in and the exhale should be much longer than the inhale, okay? So you're taking deep breath in. And almost like you're forcing out the exhale. And what that does, exhaling all of that air out, it's gonna allow the next breath, it's gonna allow more air to come through with the next breath and it's gonna become easier. The other thing I would suggest, when you're breathing in, give yourself some kind of affirmation like, I breathe in all that is me and I breathe out all that is not me, okay? Something like that will help you, not only ground you, but it'll give you energy. So remind yourself, to breathe throughout the day. And that's gonna boost your chi, boost your energy. It's gonna help you not feel so depleted. Especially if you do this, you know, like I mentioned, not to wait until you're completely wiped out. So by incorporating breathing exercises, maybe four times a day, five times a day, throughout your day, it's gonna help regenerate you, recharge yourself. So it's not about taking five hour breaks or you have to go on vacation or take a whole day off. It's about little things that you can incorporate okay to not be burnt out and you know again it's about discovering okay is it my fear of burnout or is my body actually tired and needs the rest those that is huge okay to differentiate those two things it is huge okay because oftentimes overthinking something too will cause us fatigue so is it that you know, ask yourself, what am I really feeling right now? What am I really feeling? Is it emotional or is it physical? Okay, and that's gonna help. So do these things, keep yourself grounded and realize that you don't have to get everything done all at once, okay? We're in this mentality that we need to, you know, go really fast and do everything all at once. No, you don't, but you need to stay consistent and you need to be in that heart-centered place, especially you're trying to do what you love. You wanna stay in alignment to who you are without getting burnt out. So these strategies will all help you. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Let me know in the comments below. One more thing I wanted to add, um, I just released a new bundle pack on releasing fear <laughs> and limiting beliefs. Um, there's two eBooks in there, right? The second one's actually called The Mental Mind Shift Diet. So it's a holistic approach to aligning yourself physically, emotionally, and energetically. So there's a lot in there about, you know, what foods to eat, exercises for your type, because we are all different. Let me just put it that way. Uh, you know, so if somebody else can run on, you know, fast speed all the time, that doesn't mean that we can, because we're all built differently. We have different constitutions. We have different battery charges within us, okay? Some of us get depleted more easily than others, and that's okay, that is who we are. So never compare yourself and try to be like somebody else. So that's what I include in this ebook. And then there's five self-hypnosis uh, MP3s in this bundle pack, which basically embed new thoughts into your computer, your mind, uh, self-growth, for self-growth. And uh, yeah, so if you wanna check that out, I will put that link Below. It's called the Reinvent Your Reality Bundle Pack. Um, so get that before it runs out. And other than that, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you on tomorrow's video. So peace.